Welcome to the lesson Network Security. In this video, let's learn cyberspace and cybercrime. Computer and internet have become inseparable parts of our life in multiple spheres these days. The booming technologies of the modern age have made our life much easier and more connected across the globe via interconnected networks. Nowadays, we are connected to the internet by many means that is through computer, smartphones or tablet. These gadgets are used for storing personal information, online banking, online shopping, booking tickets, playing games and connecting with friends over social media. Although networks of today have simplified the communication process and have provided great opportunities in almost all spheres, there are various types of challenges and threats associated with the use of these networks of today. These threats are known as cyber crimes. Students, let's talk about cybercrime. A cybercrime is any illegal activity done through internet, example identity theft, where somebody can steal your email ID or password and use it to send fake emails to people containing false information about the product or winning a lottery, etc. Then there are credit card account thefts, internet frauds like ordering goods in your name, extracting mobile phone contacts, etc. Forgery that is imitating documents, currency and objects of other people with bad intentions, harassing others and mischief mongering, by sending threatening messages, all of which come under jurisdiction of Indian Penal Code. Cyber stalking. In it, an attacker harasses a victim through emails, social media, chat rooms, blogs, instant messages, etc. A stalker can be an online stranger or a person known to the targeted person. In cyber stalking, the person can harass and humiliate the victim by posting false information about him, monitor or view a victim's online activities, damage the victim's computer by sending viruses. Cyberbullying It is an act of harassing or harming through information technology in a deliberate manner. This includes insulting remarks and threatening messages sent by email spreading rumors about the person either by emails or social networking sites. Posting embarrassing photos and videos to hurt the person derogatory remarks against gender, religion or nationality. Identity theft. It refers to the act of stealing and misuse of someone's personal information. It is a major issue for people who use internet for online shopping, cash transactions and banking services. The stolen information generally includes a person's name, date of birth, account number, credit or debit card number, ATM PIN, etc. This information is then misused to obtain genuine documents, new credit cards to make purchase, withdraw money, get passports and driving licenses in the victim's name. Hackers steal the information either through hacking the network that a person is connected to or placing a software unknowingly on a person's computer. Phishing it is an act of sending an email to a user misleading him to believe that it is from a trusted person or organization. The user is asked to visit a website in which he is asked to update or validate his personal details such as username, password, credit card details, etc. In this way, the operators of the fake website commit crimes in your name after stealing your identity. Farming in this type of attack, a piece of malicious code is installed on a computer or a server which misdirects the user to fraudulent websites. Without their knowledge, in order to obtain personal information such as passwords, account numbers, etc. Now let's discuss on cybercrimes against organization or society. It is a planned and politically motivated attack to cause large-scale disorder in computer networks. This category can cause panic amongst the civilians. In this category, criminals hack government websites, military websites or circulate propaganda. Transmitting virus A computer virus is a program or a set of programs that disrupts the normal functioning of a computer. A virus infects or destroys data. Like biological virus, it enters into the host computer without the permission or knowledge of the host. The full form of virus is vital information resources under seas. The essential resources of a computer like memory, processing speed, data and programs are hampered when a virus spreads into the system. Virus programs are self-replicating programs 
which continuously expand their reach by infecting more and more computer files, resulting in loss of speed and destruction of data. Creating a computer virus and spreading it is a cyber crime. Almost all viruses are attached to an executable file, which means that if a virus exists on a computer, it will not infect the computer unless you run or open the malicious program. Cyber Terrorism It is used to conduct terrorism through the use of computers and the internet in order to cause fear and panic. It causes large-scale disruption of computers, telecommunication networks or information systems, so as to compel a government or its people to fulfill some social, religious or political objectives. Attacks on military installations, power plants, air traffic controls, banks, etc. are some examples of cyber terrorism.